Hi, <laughs> this is Terry. This is Terry Kutu with Deep Sea Journey. Okay, so I ask, I'm with Dr. Crisopolo and Dr. Garza with PRMA, and I asked Dr. Garza to bring his loops today, which is what I have on, because I am so fascinated about really why they wear these things and what the benefit of them are. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little demo here. I've got these on, these are Dr. Garza's loops. I'm looking at my hand right now, and it's huge. I have to tell you, I'm going to let them take over, <laughs> but seriously, that has to take massive training to get used to these yeah, yeah. because the, the depth perception on these, but, but there's so much value. Just go. That was really cool. Thank you for letting me wear your loops. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it does take lots of training. We have lots of hours spent in the operating room getting used to this and you know learning the, the technical aspects of the surgery, um, but really good optics allow us to, to do what we do. Um, you have to see these very tiny structures. They're delicate structures. Um, as plastic surgeons, we try to preserve as much function as possible. Uh, you know, function always overrides form, mm -hmm. so that's paramount in the in the surgeries that we do. And using these types of, of tools allow us to to do that to spare nerves uh, when we're doing a, a flap type procedure. Um, when we're doing the actual microsurgery, we use a microscope. Um, so these loops are 3.5 magnification. Uh, the microscope we use in the operating room uh, goes up to above uh, 20x and we usually operate between uh, 14 and 16x when we're doing the actual microsurgery. So we see all the tiny little structures and very crisp uh, optics and it just makes what we do uh, possible. So this, these aren't even used for the anastomosis or the no. tying together of the no. blood vessels. Well, you can. You can. We, we, oh. we don't, but you can. You can. Okay. Yeah. Some surgeons do. Because I know you guys look through those big microscopes, yeah. too. Did I use the right term? Yeah. The microscope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That has to be, I mean, when you're in your residency and training, that has to be just the, the eye-hand coordination, mm -hmm. just having these on. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So takes you, a, Takes yeah. a little bit of getting used to. I can imagine. So what do you... What do you use in training to uh, to get used to these? We we had them in training. We just, just well, right. But I mean, like, what's the physical? Do you have little? What models do you use? You put these on. Mm -hmm. If I'm asking the right question, do you, you do you really want to know? Well, <laughs> is it a mouse? Uh, is it a Sometimes a yeah. kitty cat. No, yeah. <laughs> I think it's program dependent, yeah. right? Yeah, it's it, program dependent. In my program, we had a little surgical lab that we used. We mm -hmm. went down there. Um, we had um, practice vessels. We spent lots of time down there as residents. We had a practice microscope that was uh, uh, donated to my department of plastic surgery, and just spent a lot of time down there with other residents and other attending surgeons that took time out of their hands to out of, out of their lives to, to help us with, with learning. That's fascinating. I, I did do a, a video once with Dr. Scott Hollenbeck from Duke, and he talked about how you guys practice these during residency too. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Thanks for bringing your loops today. Yeah. So there you go, ladies. That's how they see all those tiny little details when they're doing your breast reconstruction. And gentlemen, <laughs> thanks so much. You're welcome.